All right, everybody, welcome back to the Heath Barn. Hope we've all had a great day. This particular episode was a lot of fun. It was the first ever sibling sighting in the barn. One of my older sisters, Kitty, came into the barn with my wife and I, and we had a great time. We talked about a lot of fun stuff. We start off talking about uh, some old stories from Kit growing up. She tells some stories about Courtney Porter. And other friends that she had growing up. But if you do not know who Courtney is, there was a, I had a podcast several months back where Courtney came in and told her amazing story. She's an amazing person with an amazing story. She was Miss Basketball in the state of Illinois. And Kit grew up with her. So we got to talking about her a little bit. She told some great stories about her and some other great stories just about growing up in general in our little small town. Then we got a little more serious. We talked about, you know, we're, we're at an age where these kind of these kinds of things come up. So we talked about money versus happiness and we talked about jobs and family and all that kind of stuff. So I think that was, uh, I think that'll be something um, important for people to listen to as well. If they're, you know, I, I, I felt like uh, she said a lot of smart things and all three of us said some things that were, were good there. So again, we go down memory lane, we be a little more serious with some money job family stuff and then we finish it off with uh talking about pets because we are talking about getting a getting a pet here eventually so we got into talking about some of uh our old pets growing up and told some stories about uh all of those things that were a lot of fun to think about again and all that good stuff so very fun episode one thing i will say kit and my wife mandy sat across from each other when I probably should have had them sitting side by side. So, because they were both talking to the same mic, you may have to turn it up slightly more than usual. Not a big deal, but you can hear me loud and clear that them at times you can hear them clear, but you may have to turn it up just a little bit louder. So this episode is a great episode. So don't be like, Oh, screw that. He said, I can't hear him. So I'm not going to listen. Nope. It's not that bad. Don't be drama. It's not that bad. All I'm saying is you may want to turn it up a teensy bit louder than you usually do so you can hear them as well as you can hear me. So that's it. Just letting you know beforehand. It's not like a deal breaker or any of that kind of crap. It's just one of those where maybe have a little bit louder than usual. So very fun episode. Kit did a great job. Thanks for coming in. Hope you enjoy it. And welcome to the Heath Barn. All right, bye. Welcome back to Heath Barn. My goodness, we've got a sibling in the barn. <laughs> okay, so uh, my wife, go ahead and say hi. Hello. And um, my sister Kitty is in here as well. Hello. Okay, good. That sounds good. All right. So the uh, first, a uh, first sibling sighting in the Heath Barn. Probably the last. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Shanna. I'm, I'm just kidding. kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was thinking though, if she, if you and Shanna are ever in here, we won't even need mics. No, you guys... no, no, we will not. <laughs> hear us from space. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's funny. I didn't mention this, but like I went and got uh, wifey's car service today. And I'm sitting there with my head down, ignoring everybody. And Shanna just comes in the door, walks in, sits down by me <laughs> today at about one o'clock this afternoon. She's on vacation. She's taking yep, vacation. She and so that was very random. But we got to Shanna is Mandy's sister, and she listens, so she'll be all shout out. And Kitty is your sister. Yes. I'm the youngest of four, as I've said. <laughs> Kitty is the second oldest. She is a brand new grandma. <laughs> That's, That's true. That's true. Go ahead. You go ahead and let's talk about that a little bit. How's 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 that feel? 
it how, feels... How's the... And how's the... Ba- how's all that stuff going? Well, he, of course, is precious. And it's... It's... It's very good. The kids are doing really well. We're very proud of them and happy for them. And it was, you know, it wasn't easy. It was quite the process for them. And Kaylee, she was a trooper. And and uh, we were, you know, sitting vigil in the, <laughs> in the waiting room. It is stressful. Yeah, it and is. it was a long few days. And I'm sure, you know, really long for her. And her folks were there. And <clears throat> bless her dad's heart, he did not leave for Aww. three days, I want to say. We got there late Tuesday evening, and they finally did the C-section Thursday morning. Oh, my god! And her dad, her mom, her stepmom was there <clears throat> with him, but she had to work um, and had to go home for a bit. But Troy never left that waiting room. And Aww. so then, yeah, he showed on Thursday morning, and he's a sweet pea. And it's pretty cool because it's like, you know, everybody talks about grandkids and it is great because you see them and you just fall in love with them and everything but the other cool thing that i never really thought much about was watching your kids you know become parents and do all the things and you know go through it together and they Mm -hmm. help each other so it's 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 very i don't know it's very moving to meet your grandchild but then also watch your kids go through that you know milestone it's it's really wonderful and he's just precious and we love him and he's pretty he is a very pretty little guy <laughs> and yeah. everybody's silly about him so yeah my favorite picture i have to show, i have to say what i mean i love all the pictures i love you kaylee but my favorite picture and the one that really goosh, choked me up was brian holding him oh. and and john putting the little hat on him yeah. like, oh my <clears> gosh it was yeah. just like yeah, <sighs> that one because Brian was puckered you. up. He was getting mm. ready to cry, and oh, it's just so like, oh. yeah. So it is. It's very, it's very cool when you get to see your kids because you know. And John you, and Brian are your are your sons. Are, yes, they yes. are my sons. John and Kaylee got married last November, and then they just had little Nathan uh, in September. Yeah, and um, Brian. One is, day after. Uh, Yes, that's the thing. Yeah. Mom's like, "Hey, can I tell Stevie that he's gonna have a birthday twin?" And I'm like, "No, because I don't know. We don't know if she'll make it." And by God, she didn't. Yeah. It was the time because we we how long did we wait before we said Stevie? I know. <laughs> Shit, it was me this time. Usually it's <laughs> usually within Cody. thirty seconds. Uh, Kathy Lee. Yeah, I call her Kathy Lee Gifford because she always talking about Cody on the sh- on her show all the time, like Mandy uh, Kathy Lee. But I'm, um, I'm Kathy Lee. Yeah, but that's great. Oh, well. But yeah, uh, one day after our son's birthday, yeah, and we want to go there and see him. But I, but I, but I, but I'm not gonna. I, I remember how I was. Speaking of, now I'll go, Kathy Lee. But uh, anybody that had like the sniffles or anything, I'm like, stay the hell away until I'm well, until he's like big. And and I just you know. Well, and I told you, Spencer and I just got our flu shots. Stevie has a cold right now. As soon as you two have your flu shots. Get into that mic a little more. Then we'll go see him. But, yeah. you know. Yeah. And they're, you know, and it's like, you're going to get to the point where it's like, you're you're happy to see everybody. I'm sure they're happy to see everyone, but they're kind of, you know, they're trying to get into a group. Oh, oh yeah. You know, yeah. We and, yes. and they are. And I'm know, thinking Christmas. four or five months. <laughs> <laughs> when he gets real squishy, we'll be ready to see Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I don't, because I remember being like that, and I'm not going to be that guy that's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. Like, back-to-back days. Yeah, you're a great uncle. Wait a minute, what? Yeah. I didn't even think about you that. Have, yeah, you, yeah, you, you're uh, a great uncle. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Great uncle. <laughs> I told... I only got two mics in here. I told Mandy, to pretend you're singing a duet for the next, you know, whatever. Please. And she's, <laughs> she's backing up off the mic. Um, no. No, but... Uh, I never thought about that. I didn't think about a great uncle. Yeah, that's old too. That's, yeah, yeah. Old stuff. Um, and uh, let's see what else about Kit here before we get going. I she okay when we had uh, Courtney in here. Uh, she's the same. A Courtney Porter. I don't know. That's an old episode. Go back and listen to if you want to. She was Miss Basketball in Illinois, and she played for Shiloh, and they made it to state final four all four years. Yeah. And Kit was on all those teams as well. You can go ahead and talk about that a little bit if you want. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, 
It's true, and it's, it's a, <laughs> I don't know. Like, but, like, well, I know, but okay, but I will like, say this, too. We get aggravated. I don't know. Not, not aggravated. You can go back to talking about it here in a minute, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm just, I'm thinking about how, okay. You know, you were on those teams. Uh, I was on good teams. Right. And then I coached a team that won state. Right. So we kind of got, we're just kind of used to. Right. A certain, a certain way. Yes. Yeah. Certain attitudes. So when they don't go that way or attitudes change and things like that, get a little, uh, get off my lawn type shit, I Mm -hmm. suppose is what it is. But Uh, yeah. would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But okay. Now go back to talk, talking about go. Yeah. So yeah, we did. I mean, and we, we, Courtney and I and some other gals in our class. You know, we were fortunate enough to be part of a group that did. You know, we were. We had a group of girls. We had some sisters. We had just a bunch of like smart, athletic girls, and we did a lot. We were a good volleyball team. We had a good basketball. Yeah, team. you guys. How far did you? You made to. Sweet 16 and volleyball. Did you ever make it? made the super sectionals, didn't my you? My freshman year, we went to state, and we didn't get any. I mean, we made it to the first round. We yeah. went to Springfield and played. What position were you? I was a setter. I was going to say setter. Yeah. My but then your senior year, they my, switched you, yeah. right? Yeah. She has long fingers. Yeah, I do. But <laughs> when I was Jesus. my senior year, I had to switch to be a hitter. And um, so did that. And But, you know, we just – we had a really good group of girls and um, very talented and hardworking. And we had good coaches. And, uh, you know, my, our volleyball coach ended up coaching, um, yeah, she went to Parkland and then went on to Eastern and coached there. And, uh, of course we had Stan White in this summer. We, they had the parade over at Hume for their Susquehanna Centennial and a bunch of us got together on a float and that was a good time. (laughs) And, um, Mr. White, our coach was there. They had a little pony, they had a little pony keg on the float. Well, (laughs) I think there was some uh, in the vehicle part. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, That's cool. so yeah, it was nice. It was really good. And, and Courtney, she was, I don't know. She, it's, she's one of those people that when you're young and you're friends with her, you don't realize how spectacular she, you don't realize what a good friend she was until you get older and you look back and you think, God, you know, she was just a really good friend. Mm-hmm. And I remember, I remember vividly certain things. <laughs> from our childhood and we were on i remember once we were on the playground remember those um monkey bars the shiloh like playground yeah there were three tiers like three levels yeah and we were just swinging on those and i was all too them. much of a vag to get up on them but. <laughs> just they were just for you know too whatever, high. yeah whatever yeah and for some i don't know what the issue was or what happened or why but some little girl slapped me in the face for no like i don't know why that we, we didn't do that kind of stuff we weren't that's not what we did. No. And she came back later and apologized like the next day or whatever, you know, made big production out of it. And Courtney was hanging on those um, monkey bars, just hanging upside down, listening to the whole thing, you know, and I'm like, okay. And that girl said she was sorry. And Courtney's like, sorry, doesn't cut the cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. And it's just like, you know, just crap like that. Yeah. We just, we had so much fun with her and, her sister and mm-hmm. all of us, we'd go to her dad's and we'd swim all weekend and he'd let us, I mean, the crap. We rode on motorcycles that we had no business. We'd yeah. stack three or four did dad, people up Did on. dad know you were doing that? I would guess yes, but. I mean, he never, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, she had a little motorcycle that, of course, she was extremely gifted at stuff like that. Mm-hmm. She, could, I mean, the girl could do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She could do anything. And I could not. And she would put me on that on that motorbike, and I would ride it out to her dad's pasture. You know, I'd kill it. Yeah. And I'd get stuck, and she'd have to run out there and get me and bring me back. You know. Yeah. She's precious. Just, yeah. Didn't yeah. they live? Did they live like? They live north. Like if you went of by where Mind- we used to. Yeah, if you went over like to Mindy's Road and went. You keep so, going. Yeah, and go straight north, yeah, yeah. and then just that's where Joe lived, and then. We would go to Gail's in town. Mm-hmm. I know where that house is because he's shown me that yeah. house before. And we have big mm-hmm. fun there, too. And she owned the grocery store. And okay. we we go okay. to Front Street Market, mm-hmm. you know, 10 o'clock at night, get some Pringles. And, you know, just <laughs> stuff like that. Just, you know, fun. Yeah. She was just yeah. the best. But you just don't see, like, uh, in itty-bitty towns, to, that kind of no. group doesn't yeah. come yeah. through right. often it at all. does that well for that long. Right. That's, and they're, that's they're as adults, they're very accomplished. Yeah. You know, group of 
we've got nurses, we have a judge, we have, you know. Who's a judge? I was gonna say, Ramona. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Are, you, are you, Jill, and Cindy all nurses? Uh, Jill's a nurse. Cindy, um, she is like radiology. Okay. I thought yeah. you guys were And I think nurse. Tammy's maybe a respiratory therapist. Okay. Yeah, you like know? traveling. Cool. Right. Yeah. And That's just neat. a very accomplished, you know. I think Amy That's Camden's awesome. like the best realtor in Chicago. <laughs> Something yeah. amazing as far as, you know, a very accomplished realtor. And it's just. Um, Girl power. Yeah. Very much. Okay. Yeah. Since we're talking about this. One. <laughs> Segway. Favorite. Well, no, that'd be your favorite. What what pops in your head like a funny story from like uh, the the playing days? It doesn't have to be at state. This could be whatever. Like, um, I remember <clears throat> we were. It was state. This is just well, okay. I have come now. They're kind of coming back. I remember yeah. Courtney and Tammy getting into a knockdown drag out fight in the middle of practice, throwing balls at each other. And <laughs> that Mr. sounds like. Uh... Those, the twins I coached. Yeah. And that that they would fight a lot. Yeah. Right. And Mr. White, he would just like stand there and let them get let it over down. with. Get it over with. And then that would be that. And then I remember um, we, you know how Courtney played, you know, hard nosed people coming at her, just knocking the daylights out of her just constantly. And she's tough as nails. And she... I remember we had, it was state and we had stayed at the motel or the hotel up there after, it was probably after the championship game when we lost. And we were all up, you know, watching TV and we had adjoining rooms mm -hmm. and a bunch of us were in the one. She came walking in from the other side. She could barely like, she was stiff as a board, couldn't walk. We all had the hair, you know, the oh, 80s yes. hair. So yes. her hair was like, cause she would wear it like pulled back. Mm -hmm. It was you know, it, she just looked like she'd been hit by a truck. And it was just, like, summed up the poor baby the whole, you know, the whole season. She was just beat up. She was. And, and but she she just kept going. I remember, you remember when she had that wreck? Uh, really vaguely. You know, and it was, I, oh, God, this, all, this almost makes you cry. Because I remember it. We were juniors. And we were coming from Hume to Chrisman. I was with Mom probably going to the store or whatever. And we come up on this wreck on ocean, ocean road. Mm -hmm. And I look over there and it's her. And uh, what grade did you guys in? We were juniors. Yeah. Okay, so you just had your license. Not very long. Right. Then. And she's in the car. I can still see it. And the car is spun like back around facing like toward Hume. And I can see her. She's in the car. All the firemen are there. Like Kenny Hodgson's there, the volunteer firefighters, and they're trying to get her out. And I can, the blood is just running down her face. Oh. And I can see her big, she has huge eyes, mm -hmm. big eyes and mm -hmm. beautiful eyelashes. And she's just blinking and she's, she's alert, but the blood and her mom's there. I could not get out of the vehicle. I could not do it. And mom got out and went mm -hmm. and stood with Gail in the field. And so, oh God dang it. <laughs> It's so her though, because they got, they got her out and they took her to the hospital. And of course, all of us are like, you know, terrified. And our out. our yeah. parents have us gathered up and we're going to the hospital and dad drove us up to Danville and we're all like, wait, you know, cause we just know, you know, she came walking out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Came walking out of those ER room doors. She had her jeans on, you know, and they had cut them uh -huh. so they could check her. And they're flapping like <laughs> cowboy chaps as she's yes. walking. <laughs> she just went home. Had her hair, had her head wrapped she's with good. gauze, you know. And yeah, it it's just like you tougher, tougher than a pine knot. You just, yeah. I mean, it was just like amazing. Yeah. And is at school the next day? She's like tooth, a Terminator. Tooth, it's like yeah, tooth broken off. <laughs> she's at school the next day, and then this, and we're sitting. I remember sitting in accounting the next the next year, sitting in soup. Sue Miller, Sue yeah. Phipps' accounting class. Mm -hmm. And I look over at her. I'm like, what? You got blood run down your face. And she's like, what? And she had glass embedded in her head still a year later. <laughs> a year it, later. Oh <laughs> it worked its way out and she had blood. I'm like, it's out. It's out. It's like a, it's like a splinter. Yeah. yeah. So out. there's, you know, those are some funny things that I remember yeah. from. Wow. From high school. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. She was just... She's precious. She's yeah. a special person. She is. And we had, I mean, we just had a lot of. A well, lot she of had good... those, uh, when, I don't know, she had that pictures up on Facebook not too long ago, uh, right for like 
her birthday party, whatever, and there was like ones of all of you when you were probably eight or nine, and y'all had little bowl cuts. Oh, I know. <laughs> and you're like, was that the one when she? It was like you and Tammy and yeah, 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 yeah and Courtney I and I, Jill and Cindy were in it too. I, I, I think. Yes. Mm-hmm. These are all just girls from that class. For for name of people that people aren't going to know who we're hell we're talking about, but yeah, they're just. Yeah, I was, that team. I wasn't the only one that had a bowl cut. So I oh. saw that. I was like, me? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mom would put us, she'd put us on the, did she ever do that to you? She'd put you on the front porch remember. and put masking tape across <gasps> your forehead. Oh my God. I've seen she, your picture. She did that to and you. And then cut. <laughs> yeah. She had those perfect little things. Yeah. And she cut it dry. Spring, <laughs> spring for a barber cut. <laughs> nah. I remember hey, going to. Hey, Emma, hey. Yeah. I just cut our son's hair tonight, so watch what you That's say. That's true, but. <laughs> <laughs> nice and nice little buzz, nice little buzz cut. Buzz. I like I like to do a buzz. Yeah, but uh, I remember going. I don't know, it had to be near like senior year, and I remember Mr. White took me down to the uh, locker room because that was the year Illinois made the Final Four, and he let me see like Nick Anderson's locker and Kenny yeah. Battle's locker. And That's all. pretty cool. As long as you win, you end up in the nice locker room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, if you keep losing, then you end up in like a block storage area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was I like, "Hey, man, there's a, yeah. there's Kendall Gill's jock. All right, it's awesome." But he did though, and I, I'm and he, I was like the only. I'm not trying to be whatever, but I know that he was like, he was like, "John Steven, come here," and, I, and he didn't let anybody else go down there. So I, I felt I, you thought you were pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And, well, and he's just a great guy. Yeah, but uh, it yeah, it was good. It's a good time. Yeah, good um, it's good. We don't need to get any like whatever. Growing up, embarrassing. <laughs> stories or anything go ahead kitty what do you got no that's right i'm six years younger than than kitty so but i just remember you having people those girls over and i just i'd always perk up a little when everybody yeah. was sure yeah get an eyeful yeah mm-hmm. yeah that was good but uh i can see that yeah yep <laughs> absolutely but they uh where we are now, though, in this barn, in this house, this one, like your senior year, you we lived here, but you just kept going over there. Right. Yes. So, and then when Courtney was in here, I think she forgot she was in your wedding or something. <laughs> well, it has, it has been 30 years. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah she was. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, we, uh, I thought. We've been talking about grown-up stuff, so I thought you'd be a good person to have in. Switch gears. Okay. Okay, here we go. Unless we just want to keep it light and keep on talking I mean, BSing. But, Your podcast. Um, oh, I know. I know. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you gotta get, you gotta get in the mic a little Sorry. Bit. Here's another thing that's hurting you. You're short, so it's like, I I, you need to blow, you can lower the mic a little bit. So that I way. know. Well, I don't want to mess it up for Kitty. She's, oh, that's all right. It's keep talking. This is awkward. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, but what what we were talking about recently, just a conversation. So I thought it'd be kind of for all you grown ups out there. So money versus happiness. Yeah. That's it. No. Yeah. I was, that's no. a good it's a good subject. Yes. It is. I, discuss. Yeah, discuss that's what I was looking for. What is that what who's what's the Saturday Night Live? Okay. Topic. Yes, I was gonna we'll do the to I was doing the coffee talk, yeah. Like Discuss. No, but because, yeah, okay, because grown-ups, you know, I also thought one thing I did say on that one that I'm not going to put out is it'd be fun to have like a poll like, okay, grown-ups with your job, do you uh, love it, like it, tolerate it, dislike it, or just freaking loathe (laughs) Loathe Loathe entirely? Yeah, Yeah. we just watched Grinch. Stevie, yeah. that Jim Carrey Grinch, uh, loathe entirely. Right. Yeah, and see where everybody falls in. Mm-hmm. So, you wifey, say? you go first. You say you've never hated your job. We don't need to talk about what it is or anything like that, but you said you've never hated it. You've hated certain parts of it, but you've never like hated your yeah, job. Yeah, I I, I've done my job for 23 years. I'm still doing it, and I'll probably do it till I can't do it anymore. And I love it, and what I love about it is, you first by of yourself. all, it's flexible. I do it by myself. And I feel that it's needed. I feel... Um, you provide a service. I provide a service. I feel proud of what I do. And I do feel 
Those people, um, a lot of those, uh, some of those people need you to talk I, I to. Love they, the they, they count that on you coming there I talking. For. I really, really do. And I, I do feel, um, I do feel proud of it. And to be honest, I'm probably not the, pers- the best person to have in this conversation because I never grew up wanting a career. I didn't grow up with like these big career aspirations. I'm going to give my little two cents and then I'll back off. The All right. But I never grew up like, I want to be this. I want to be that. I'm a girl that wanted to have a family. Mm-hmm. Want to be a mom, want to be a wife. And I know that nowadays that is kind of looked down upon. That's not a whatever that you ask. If you ask a girl, she's not going to say that. She's going to say what my career is going to be. And I don't think that's really fair because that's all I ever wanted mm-hmm. is to be a mom. I have a job. I do not have a career. I have a job. And I'm grateful that I like the job. But my number one goal is to be a mom and a wife. So there's my two cents. Now, okay, but let's, okay. Yeah, but whenever we were talking about this earlier, you were saying, like, what do you think, uh, think of people, think of someone in your head right now mm-hmm. that makes good money but hates their job. Where, where would you, where where would you land with all that kind of stuff? Where would I land with it? I would say, I, w- I would always say happiness and your mental state of mind trumps the money because... You can always lower your bills. You can sell things. You can downsize to a smaller house. You can sell a car and whatever. You can make your life work around your job. But if you have a family, especially, you need to be the best that you can be for your family. And that's not just, I bring in the most money. It's, I'm available to you in your home. I'm not stressing out at night because of my job. I'm so miserable. There's always another job. Yeah. Especially now. I mean. Right. What if, uh, okay. So there's a fine line. So let's say it's like, and I'm, this is completely hypothetical, just random stuff. I'm pulling out of my keister, but okay. Don't do that. <laughs> I said keister. That's good. Okay. PG. Okay. So like, uh, you got, you don't, you hate your job and then they're like, okay, well, we'll, we'll give you that. We'll add on like $20,000 a year to your salary. You still hate it, but Ooh, I get this much more. We can do, we can do more things with my family. So there's 24 hours in a day. I'm miserable for eight, no matter what, but the other 16 hours, there's more money now. So the other 16 hours I can enjoy my, we can do more things with my family, blah, 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 because of this money, take a trip, do this, whatever. But eight hours out of the day, I'm going to be miserable. Or do you just say, no way, it's not worth it. Don't care how much more money you give me. Like I want. Okay. So my vote is no, it's not worth it. Misery is misery. Okay. And you have to dread, you have dread. So that's my vote. Okay. Okay. Kit. Well, I would say for a lot of people, it might depend on their situation at the time. You know, if somebody said, we're going to give you an extra $20,000 and you are looking at, you know, college or, Mm -hmm. you know, you've got, you need to get, I don't know, something repaired on the house or, you know, just whatever. It would depend maybe on the situation that you're dealing with at that time because, you know, you're different. You guys are younger than me, but your <laughs> stages in life and, and the thing you are younger than me, but you also have Stevie who's quite a bit younger. He's like early on and you know, right. Yeah, that's true. true. So it just kind of depends on like where you're at mm-hmm. and what your situation is, because you might think, okay, I can suck it up for a year mm-hmm. for another $20,000 and then make a change. Or you might just be so fed up and, and if it's impacting your family and you know, cause it, you may try to leave your misery at work or whatever but if it's impacting your family and they could feel it that you're not happy then you might just be like no it's time to just be done so i think it just may depend on where you are in life have you ever been in that situation yes okay is it can you speak on it or is, are you yeah, that, yeah i can speak on it it's like we so i would echo you know what mandy said about careers and you know what you want your life to be and for me i was the same way I mean, Chad and I got married young and I chose nursing, not necessarily because I wanted to be a nurse, you know, I didn't Mm -hmm. strive to be a nurse, but I was kind of a caregiver at heart, even when I was little. That's who you are. So yeah, it was like nursing. I looked at it like, okay, I want to get married. Mm -hmm. I can get a two year degree. Mm -hmm. I can get a job that I will always be employed and we can get married. And that's what, that's what we did. He was 20. I was 21. And you know, we were, I graduated from nursing school in August, got married in November and passed boards, you know, and I'm working. And so that was that. And that's what we wanted. But, you know, I also knew 
the nice thing about nursing is it's very broad. So yeah, you're a nurse, but there are a lot of different areas you can work in. And I knew I was not like ER Mm -hmm. surgery. That's not my thing. I liked long-term care because I knew I would see the same people every day. I would get to see their families. I got, you know, to know my residents and you get to know your staff and everything. So I really enjoyed that. But working as the director of nursing was really, really stressful because you had to make sure you had enough staff and if there were any complaints, if there were problems and things, you know, didn't always go right or whatever. And there's a more lot. the Yes. When you're in charge. Right. It's <laughs> in char- when you're in charge, it the, you. it, it's, it's right. a lot of, uh, yeah. right. I have buddies. Yeah. I've, one of my good buddies that I just saw Saturday was discussing this and mm-hmm. he has Roger, people under him and it's just right. a huge pain in his right. rear end. Yeah. And that was early on. And then um, the other thing that kind of set the course for us was when we had Adrian. And so, you know, she was born with some health issues and and some difficulties that it made it, you know, difficult to just drop her off at the sitter. You know, so Chad had to stay home with her for a year and he took care of the kids and I worked. But it got to be where it was just too much. I can't keep doing this. And so I just quit and I went to work at for eight bucks an hour for a year and I don't see I don't I mean I'm, that's been it's been too long that. ago I don't remember all that yeah I went to work at the senior center in Paris for a year yeah for eight dollars an hour huh. yeah and it was hard you know financially yeah. but it was much better because I knew like Christmas morning I wasn't going to get a phone call that somebody right. had called in oh right. definitely you know and it's just like your time with your family <clears throat> is yours and it just gave us a minute to regroup. And yes, <clears throat> yes. I went back to it in a year. Went back to the nursing home and started working in the marketing part of it. And I kind of remember you, yeah. But yeah, so you went back to the same, but it was a, it wasn't the same. It was a different role. Different yeah. role, yeah. And that's a nice thing. You can do different things with your nursing degree, and I, that's like what I do now. I love it. Um, and you know, I went to Health Alliance and went to my job yeah. <laughs> and 20, in 2007 and they in 2008 they piloted I was the first person they sent home to work from home to trial it and I've worked from home ever since and for our family it's the absolute best thing that yeah, ever happened 100%, to us yeah, and I, like you said I've had opportunities to climb the ladder but I don't want to mm-hmm. I like doing the frontline work mm-hmm. working with my facilities that I work with and I like being able to be home. I needed to be home for Adrian. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, I could have sought promotions so I could make more money, but we were comfortable, you Mm -hmm. know, and we made it through the difficult parts like braces and college and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We made it through all that. And I still love what I do. And I work with a wonderful group of nurses and have great supervisors. And, you know, so, yeah, there were times when we could have pursued things but we rather be there for our kids and like chad you know he 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 stayed home with two boys that would have been what five five and three and a newborn with a tracheostomy yeah that's a lot and did it himself for a year and i worked because i had our health insurance Mm -hmm. so i had to do that and he did all that and, you know, there were jobs that he could have, and I don't fault somebody for taking a job that pays really well if it takes you away from your family, but it was just a choice that we made. Mm-hmm. You know, he wanted to be there for our kids. He wanted to do little league. He wanted to do that stuff. His dad did that for them. And, yeah. you know, so I would, I would never, never take anything, uh, that would take me away from right family ever. Like, you know, I don't give, I don't, our life though, doesn't. With with, not just Stevie, but with what we have going on, I we have to be right. To be that's here. yes. With with, with our when, with when you have with you know the, when you have Drake kids and that have issues, then you have to be able to yeah. be there when the, when you're needed, and you never know what'll come up and and all of that. So it yeah. that's another another reason why you said that you're it, it was you're able to do a lot of different things. My job, I can't do a lot of different things, but I can. It, you got your own it's schedule. It's not rocket science. It's like yes. if I can't miss, you can, if I can't be there, it's not that big of a deal. You can cancel and reschedule, right. and you can right. do all so that. I yeah, I think that's. I think that's a that's a huge deal if you're going to have a family. Yeah, right. we've always said to be <clears throat> flexible, but I just even it doesn't matter what the situation is, or if like if I ever 
if there's ever something where they're like, we're going to, we'll pay you, blah, 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 blah. I'll be like, okay, but this is, it, it's going to be, I'm never going to try. I mean, I would, I would never travel. I would never do that kind of stuff. It needs mm-hmm. to be something because I'm not, I'm not missing anything with mm-hmm. right. Right. Stevie and Drake and Spencer, you know, obviously we got to be here for them too. So yeah, I just, that, I guess money, happiness, family, another one, but then you get into like insurance and sh- sh- stuff like that. So right. it's like, okay, well, I hate this job, but if I quit it, then what about insurance and this and all this other kind of stuff? So, you know, there's just so many different right. things that come into it. But yeah, I would never, I don't know. I just think that, uh, yeah, you shouldn't have to, in my opinion, you shouldn't have to be like white knuckling it to, to your job every day, dreading it, no matter how much it you get paid or whatever. But so just, I think you should just find something that you like and give it all you got with that and just uh, focus on what's the most important to you or what you like the most and just try that rather than getting, you know, mixed into something you don't like, or if you're, but if you're in it, okay, let's say you're in a career and you get completely burnt out with it. And let's say you're middle-aged. Okay. Like, I mean, how bad would it have to be to like, just say, screw it and sw- switch careers. Is that okay? So let's say like, okay, you've, you've always been in nursing and you've always loved it, but let's say, let's say it's something that you get to where you just hate it. Right. Would you, okay. And you've got. And let's say the money's good, insurance is good, all that kind of stuff's good, but you just got to where you just hate it and you're burnt out. Would would you have the whatever to just say then just switch? No matter how, like if you really really hated it at the age I am now. Yeah. Well, this here's the thing. I mean, because okay. there's a difference. I we're feel we're like. not talking ages. We're not. She's not. She's well. She's a grandma. So <laughs> so you can ballpark right. it. Okay. Right. Just she's young. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just um, kidding, but yeah. I'm not ready to retire. We'll just put it that way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I would, but I'm not able, <laughs> not able to retire. Yeah. Um, if you, it's like there's a fine line between hating your job and growing weary of something. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, when they, you know how they give you that whole, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, or, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. it's mm-hmm. like, you know. I always, I've always wanted to flip that. I'm like, where do you, where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> right. You know, Cause it's like, I don't, hey, hold, just kidding. But yeah. I, I hope I can see myself, you know, I, I like what I do every day. I don't really want to go anywhere other than that. I do. However, everybody needs like growth. Everybody needs challenge. Everybody needs stuff to kind of keep them sharp, keep life interesting or whatever. So <clears throat> it's when I think about that, going forward like growth for me or for my family it's not in my career it's and i don't it's not i don't mean to be insulting to my employer because i have i work for a good company and i enjoy what i do but as far as like me personally the growth that i want to see is with my family Mm -hmm. and with my kids and that's why you know like we're doing some houses on the side and that's you know it's fun and i get to spend time with the kids Mm -hmm. and, and we get to you know have a challenge and we have a nice product at the end that you know we can say, look, look what we did. This mm-hmm. is great. And so, you know, for yeah. me, I would stick with my job and look for growth in other areas. But that's because I don't despise but that, Yeah, but you job. like it. Though. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, no, what I'm saying is, like, what if, if you... Absolutely. If you're... If, doesn't if, matter what age you are. Just right. if you want to get and, out, get out. Especially in this day and age, when there is so much available, mm-hmm. like, online or, you know, different types of work that people can do and... And ways to be creative and, you know, it's life's too short to, to be miserable at work when it can impact your own health, impact your family. You know, it, it's, it's like, there's a ripple effect when you are that sad. As much as you try not, as much as, you know, he might like try not to let it. it, Right. You can't really, yeah, just kind of. Right. Yeah. That's why I like, well, and this has nothing to do with it. I mean, I remember when I lived in Florida, hell, 15 years ago, talking to you about that stuff, like just want, want to do something like this mm-hmm. and then finally like doing it, you know, and this is like a nice, fun thing I like to do mm-hmm. and would like to get more, get it more, mm-hmm. whatever out there. And that's part, you know, part of that's on me. I got to like put more stuff out and stuff, but, but like, yes, growth in, like you said, it's growth. It's growth. That's not like your job. It's growth in other things right. and things that you like to do and stuff like that because again life's too short you only live once 
Well, and you, so, you do things, you know, it's like when you're, you have your kids and they're little, you know, and you're like trying your hardest, doing what you think's right, hoping you don't screw them up, you know, and they turn out to be kids that people enjoy being around or, you know, can tolerate being around them. And then they grow up and then you're like, oh, this is kind of nice they're mm-hmm. they're good and you can have nice conversations with them mm-hmm. and you can you know spend time together and it's enjoyable and i i don't really like it when parents say oh they're my best friend because my kids aren't my best friends Mm-mm. you know my husband's my best friend but my mm-hmm. kids are my best friends but they are people that i truly admire mm-hmm. and and i'm happy to know them and i'm you know happy for them and and the lives they're building that is where i get my joy mm-hmm. yeah you know that's how I am too with this, but yes. That's that's a, that's a good. That's yeah, I mean, I get well like everything. Yeah, I could not possibly, I couldn't be any happier with everything that goes on here with my, with family and everything like that, you know. And that's yes. Don't want to go all Kathy Lee, but yes, with him, it's just like <laughs> everything, you know. It's just like that's that's where mm-hmm. all the happiness comes from. But uh, at the same time, to have something. Uh, and he's involved with this too. It makes it yeah, fun, right, you know. He's cool. like, you know, he like, yeah, sure. yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I'm not. And by the way, for all of you, I'm not the one being like, "Come on, Steve, let's go do a podcast." Well, I don't do one unless he like brings it up, and he brings it he up. Asked about, if he could be on this one tonight, I was like, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he did. We came out here what about a week or so ago, yeah. and he yeah. He Talked about it. sneaky Sasquatch for twenty minutes, but but yeah, yeah. There's just, you know, that's just something that's, I don't know, weird. I was talking about the buddy over the weekend and some other stuff, so I just thought we kind of. Right. I would, again, I, I, I just don't know, like, yeah, like I said, the money versus happiness, and it's like, I, I do think it'd be a fun pull if, like, uh, hate, tolerate. And then, like, because uh, I have had jobs that I've hated before, and it's just like, then you feel guilty for feeling miserable because it's like there's so many people that, Right. don't have jobs right. and then you wonder like am i just being soft here or should i or is it like you know and, this, and then so it's like I, you just don't know how other people feel about their jobs it's like am i crazy for feeling this way or is it like you know and and so that's i think yeah. that's a really good point i've always felt guilty about if you're if you are unhappy the job i've always felt guilty about it because it's like i have a job right. so it's like a lot of people don't so i shouldn't feel this way but you know, so I've always, when I have been unhappy at a job in the past, it's like struggle with, struggled with it because, yay, I'm getting a paycheck. A lot of people don't. So, you know, but, and then, yeah, like I said, you don't know if you're like, you're just being like, come on, suck it up and go, you know, or if you really, you know, so yeah, it's, right. yeah. Right. I think it, there's a lot to be said for, you know, having something that suits your personality. You know what I mean? It's like, why do something that, and I don't know why. I, if you can't be yourself. Right. If you can't be yourself. Yeah. And if it's something that, you know, you don't have at least some desire to do a good job at it, you know, then why beat your head up against the wall? It's time to look for something else. That's, and, and think about like, what is it? I remember years ago, I remember I don't, a person that's very near and dear to my heart and very sweet. And she's a wonderful person. And she, I just remember her making the comment that, she, there's this one particular job she wanted because she knew that it would make her heart sing. And I thought, oh, no. wow. Yeah. yeah. And I, and that's truly who she is. And that's, she would have, that job would have made her heart sing. So, yeah. you know, something like that to where, you know, you don't want to just punch a clock. Right. You, know? mm-hmm. you may have to do that for a bit to get through a, t- a you know, a tough mm-hmm. spot or whatever. Cause everybody has responsibilities that they, you know, have to manage. We have, right. you know, we have to take care of our business and we have to support our kids or whatever. Um, but there's a difference between, you know, getting through a rough patch and then trying to find something you can do for the long haul. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. That's true. You know, like a uh, office space. Oh <laughs> yeah. cool. After this, watch that TPS movie. reports. Oh. <laughs> yeah. One more person asking about my TPS that's reports. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah, that's 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 a great that's movie. Good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But good. Yeah. Well. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> a d- a uh, <laughs> stuff. We're talking about getting a dog. Oh gosh. Nice. There we go. But uh, long talk. I said I wanted. 
a pug. Mm-hmm. And Stevie wants a pug. Mm-hmm. But, I do. I'm, I'm great with that. Perfect size for me. Yeah. I'm fine with that, too. But uh, I said, no, you... Uh, Last night I told you what I thought we should do. Wait till the spring, mm-hmm. which I agree. Yeah. Because you don't... Well, first of all, one of our friends said, don't get one when it's getting ready to get cold out, you know. Yeah, you're standing out in the yard. Shout out. Right. They have five dogs. They're like, oh. don't get a dog in the winter. Right. But. Like, cruel to yeah. train. You have to train a dog in the winter. And I, I don't want to go through that, really. So. Yes. Yeah. But. Uh, so, yeah. That's, yes, that's fine. But I was just like, okay. Uh, <laughs> like, for today. Today, for example, I was just like, home. Only person at home. I'm like, if we would, if we'd have a dog right now, like. Who'd be who'd be doing all who'd, who'd be doing everything? Hey. Yeah, so I'm all for a dog, but uh, we've we're going into it with an agreement that I'm you know I'm 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 not gonna clean up all the poop. I'm not gonna. It's a group effort. You're not yeah. cleaning up all the poop. Yeah, but you're cleaning up some poop. And we're talking about names, and Stevie's names are just. He said like blue, blue or something. I'm like, blue, what are you talking? Well, about? he likes bluey and he yeah. likes yeah, he but likes he doesn't blue even blue. like he yeah. doesn't even like that show. He doesn't he well, he watches bluey like okay. once in a while. But you know, I like bluey. Yeah. it's it's very funny. It is yeah. funny. I like okay. the name. It's got you know, it's got yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. I like the name Wyndham, and there's a really good wrestler <laughs> who passed away very suddenly. And his name his his wrestling name was Bray Wyatt. His 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 real name's Wyndham though, and I'm like that's a good name. Like that, that's just like a good name for like a person, I think. I think it is. Yeah. True. It's like it's kind of like a name. guy that'd be like it's like a, like a guy that'd be like a western or something, you know. Yeah. So It does sound very western. Yeah. Stevie's not liking that. Of course, he'd rather. But then Mandy said Butchy, maybe. So, we'll see, but I don't know. <laughs> but I think we're settled on a pug for the pug spring. The spring. How big is Stevie's- what kind of dog do you guys have? We? Yeah. Well, we technically don't have a dog, but Victor Who? is Brian's dog. Oh. Uh, but he comes to stay with us. You know, we're like his vacation home. He, su- oh. he summers with us. <laughs> and then. What kind of dog is it? He is a uh, Jack Russell and. Oh, crap. Australian. He a corgi? He's a, no, he's like a cattle dog. Okay. And Jack Russell mix. He has a corgi look, He does. He has a, I love. He has a fluffy butt. Yes. Extremely fluffy cute. butt. And yeah. he's a good boy. He was at our house today. Yeah. But he's small. He is small. Mm-hmm. He's thick. Like, mm-hmm. he's he's meaty. And John and Kaylee, they have um, Reese and Oakley. And they are the miniature poodle mixes, so they don't shed. That's so nice. So they have yeah. Reese, who is Jack Russell miniature poodle mix. And he's long and lanky and skinny and f- super fast. And Oakley is a multi-poo, so he's like a Maltese poodle. Mixed. Ooh, I show you. I have a picture. Well, I <clears throat> we have to get a small. Like it's got to be some small. Well, but I think a pug's a good size. They get a little stout, but not like huge, and not like whatever they can cob up on the couch. Because I want to, I want a dog that'll sit with me and whatever. And yeah. Fine. I think they're good with kids. We saw a little. We, we saw a lover list that they had a pug, and he's just like they're taking it for a walk. He's just like, yeah. he's got that. You know. Good, I want the one that looks like men, the one in Men in Black. I want a pug like that. Oh God, yeah. So cute. But it's got it's got to be uh, one that's. Uh, in a certain price range. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Oh, how She's showing cute. a picture, too, of the... Yeah, very Jack Russell. Yeah. Nice. Cute. Oh, yeah. You guys always had Jack Russells. Loved them. Yes. Adorable. They were, yeah. They're scrub- very fast. Super fast and good little, good little... Scrubby. Scrubby. He was the best. Yeah. Extremely good. I don't want to bring up bad memories. I know. Yard, That's yeah. the only thing I don't... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to deal with the loss, of the eventual <laughs> loss. It is. Adrian, I know. Adrian just can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's been however many years. Yeah. 2014. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's why it's like, uh, I care too much. <laughs> but yeah, he, you know. Boy needs a dog. Boy, yeah. boy needs a dog. Now, okay. Now, Maybe 2017. I'll give her. Yeah, I think it was 17. Okay. No, you wouldn't think I'd like dogs because you have, you know. John's got a newborn, and like I remember when Stevie, we were, he was like six days old. Ah, whatever, it wasn't that bad. But it's like he's like six days old, and we're like, like no sleep for, for a week. And we're I'm putting him in the. We had a van. We had a van. Get your, I liked that van, and I kind of miss too. that van now. Honestly, like the the space. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was nice. They're roomy. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, I got Stevie. I'm trying to get him in the van. 
and like out of nowhere this dog like broke his chain and he's got this like big off the chain he's off the chain he off the running chain. like tortoise at a he wasn't small either and i'm like no, what in the f- what is happening like this never happens ever no so i'm like getting stevie in the car and i was just like low on sleep and i was just like not to- not today dog and i was <laughs> being a little rough with it yeah but and then I, then I to the doctor, so that's all that matters. Swearing a lot, and I, I wasn't kicking it; I was kicking at it. You know, just get, just get, just, yeah. It. But scare, yeah, whatever. I, I don't know. Say, but you were uh, that was a, that was a rough week. I really feel for John and Kaylee that first week. You feel like you're on another planet. Do you have a baby? You're just like. Oh my, yes. Yeah, six that f- it was that first doctor's appointment. I'm like holding him and this like random like vroom, 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 starts like running at me. I'm like, what the fuck? What is that? And I just started, just started, you know, scaring it off. Scaring it off. We'll go with scare. We'll, we'll go with scaring it off. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And then I, uh, and then remember, I tried to throw his chain, but I, it was under the tire, and it just like went straight up, and like, don't like it went had straight that down. thing that you screw into the ground still. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, like, it, up, and it just went up and straight down. I tried to throw it yeah, like I in the yard. I was in the car laughing so hard. Oh my gosh. It was kind of a. It was good. We needed it. It's needed a sign it. that I'm always gonna protect him. That's right. That's right. He knows like, that. But I was like, what are the odds of what is <laughs> happening right now? This random ass dog just sprinting up to us random, in the yard. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. Mm. <sighs> All right. Well, <laughs> on that note, don't come after me, PETA. I didn't do anything bad. No, so, we're fine. I just said how we're getting a dog because I love dogs. That's like dog. right. We love yeah. dogs. Uh, before we go, though, uh, speaking of dogs, and you were talking about uh, G- uh, Gail living in Hume. Yeah. We had that dog Hagar we had, didn't oh, he run? God. Ran through the store? Yeah. He probably did. And I remember he got in. We had a hus- Okay, I was little. You explained Hagar because okay. I was. We had a husky and he was a really pretty dog, but he would run off, like run off long, long distance. We lived in the right? country. They found him in Longview, which is about yeah. a 30 minute drive. Right. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He would take off and he would go in, you know, Go in the store. He got in. He ran into, he ran into the, our little the little town. Our little I remember town. there was a little guy, a gentleman that worked in, he lived in Hume, he and his wife, and he drove, I want to say, to Decatur to work from Hume. I could be wrong, but it was a long way. Mm-hmm. And he would, so he would leave. It was dark. And he had gone out to his car, forgot his lunch, left the door open to the car, went in the house to get his lunchbox, came back to his car in the dark. And got in, and Hagar was sitting in the <laughs> passenger oh seat my gosh. of his car. Scared him, of course. Oh, yeah. Scared him to death. Huskies are big. You know, so, of course, that little story made it back to mom and dad. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't somebody throw Sorry. up or something? I thought, throw up. I was thinking that he got in the car and somebody threw up or something because they were scared. And then I heard, I remember, see, I don't know if this one's true or not, but, like, Gail, like, went into her house one time or something, and she'd cooked, and he... He could have. Took all the food off of her I don't table. remember. That sounds yeah. very um, Christmas story. It does. Yeah. A little bumpus-y. Bumpus hound. Yeah. He was a bumpus hound. It's yeah. all folklore. Hagar's got <laughs> folklore. Yeah. But was. the Longview, sh- that's true. That was true. Yeah. And lo- uh, Seriously, Longview is a 30, like a 30-minute drive from where right. we... Uh, I think he just followed like a creek bed and just probably. made yeah. it all the way up yeah. there. And but Yeah. The 80s, man. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Crazy dogs. Yep. We had Rufus. Rufus was good. Rupus was a good dog. We had Jingles. You probably do you remember Jingles? Jingles I was really little, but yeah. what kind of dog was that? She was just a mix of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're still working on our name, but it's not going to be Blue. We'll get there. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, thank you, Kitty. Well, oh, thanks for having me. I'm yeah. Honored. What? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm the first first sibling. The first sibling. <laughs> I said uh, that password game that we've played. We thought, I thought, oh gosh, should I even say it on here? Because then Put it out. now we're Get now we're screwed. Here. But yep. I thought about having Shannon and TR come in and do like a game where it'd be like Come us on. against them. But you're going down, yeah. Fishers. Again, <laughs> again, I'll just shut the mics off. It'll be plenty loud right. enough. Shannon and I'll carry it. It'll be yeah. Fine. But all right, well, Kit, you want to do the the that's that part at the end? That's that. All right. Thanks for listening.